What's good and what up? It's your boy Sam and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Do me a favor, family, before we get started with the content, y'all know what to do. Go up top and hit that like button. Alright, so when 444 dropped, it was at the time the centralized topic of hip hop as expected and as it should have been. Now, soon after its release, Jay Z's 13th studio album was already topping the Billboard Hot 200 at the number one spot and flexing another platinum plaque to add to the Bets Trophy case. However, New reports have emerged in tandem with various accounts from fans on social media that indicate that the album supporting 444 tour has not been doing as well. Now, it was at the tail end of October that the tour officially hit the road on October 27th in Anaheim, California, and already fans were seeing plenty of tickets with prices ranging from $6 to $12 on resale sites such as StubHub and SeatGeek within days from the date of the show. An unusual characteristic for an artist frequently attached to sold out stadiums and arenas. Now it was this year that Jay inked a $200 million touring contract with Live Nation. Neither his team or Live Nation have stepped in the front of these new claims. It's still unclear and a little too early to gauge whether or not the tour was a success or a complete failure. Now as you see up top, I'm dropping tweets from various people talking about the tour. According to a report published by Digital Music News, a vast number of sections highlighted with the color blue, meaning seats are available in the section signals lackluster ticket sales. Now, upon zooming in on these sections to select dates, it's clear that a great number of these tickets are a mix of both resale tickets and standard sales, with the latter dominating horrifyingly so on select dates. Now, does this mean we're beginning to see the decline in Jay-Z? Uh, I highly doubt that, but it is very telling. Let me tell you why. Like I alluded to earlier, you rarely see Jay-Z not selling out tours and arenas, not selling out stadiums. But as reported earlier, once the tour was released, I think tickets range from anywhere between up to $440 minimum a ticket. Tickets were ridiculously highly priced. And outside of your major markets, your Phillies, your LA's, your New York City's, where Jay-Z is going to sell out 10 out of 10 times, all the time, your Anaheim's, your local cities within the major cities are obviously going to struggle for major ticket sales. I mean, if you look at the tour dates, he hits major cities and then those little outgoing cities around those. So you got a lot of small markets Jay-Z's trying to hit at 444 or whatever the price is per ticket. I mean, let's just keep it 100. You're not going to have people buying those tickets at this price, not in this day and age. It also goes and reflects on the fact that we have a younger generation. We have a younger ear out here listening to a different kind of music that Jay-Z is throwing out. Now, no one made any mistake or any bones about 444 being a grown man, a grown person album. It was for grown ears early. If you weren't ready to hear what Jay-Z had to say on the album, it probably wasn't going to resonate with you. And it didn't to a lot of younger cats. And these are the cats that are going out to see shows. It kind of reminds me of what Lonzo Ball ignorantly said a couple months ago when he said, no one listens to Nas no more. We listen to Migos and Future. Nas ain't hip hop no more. Well, I mean, it kind of, I mean, and correct me if I'm wrong, it maybe even goes to the fact that a lot of people aren't listening to your Jay Z's, to your Nas's, to your hip hop legends, and is, and is resonating in tours and is resonating in lack of tour sales. Now, like I said, this is not the decline of Jay Z. I know Jay Z's lyrically probably has another four or five albums in him, and more than that if he chooses to. So, this isn't a decline in Jay Z at all. But it's definitely going to be a step in a different direction when it comes to this tour. You probably will see tour ticket prices dropping down drastically everywhere. And if you do and it's in your city, I highly suggest you pick them shits up and enjoy an incredible fucking show. Because you can't tell me that that 444 show ain't incredible. I ain't seen it, but I'm banking on it. Y'all heard this here first. Go down to the description box to see links in the description box. Subscribe to Viral Hip Hop News. I sincerely appreciate it. So next time we out of here. Peace.